So starting from the top, you can see I am wearing this guilloche necklace in yellow gold and this in the vintage Alhambra size. And um, usually when I wear warm colored clothes, I like to pair it with this because it just looks more consistent and union and I just like the look of that but I am cool skin toned and I do have a lot of clothes that are cool skin toned so that is why whenever I wear something that is in the cooler shades such as you know purple, green, blue, I do reach for the white gold version of this which is also the holiday pendant so it is this one and I mentioned from head to toe and so there is also um, my arm. Actually, there's nothing on my toes, but <laughs> on my arm you can see um, some Van Cleef in action. So which Van Cleef items do you spot or how many do you spot? If you answer two, that is correct because I do have two Van Cleef items on here and that is this one, this irresistible five motif bracelet in yellow go and guilloche and also this sweet Alhambra carnelian a single motif bracelet that is super dainty and super pretty and um, you can see like they just look so good together I love the stack but um the guilloche bracelet is something that I don't wear just you know every single day because of how um, prone to scratches it is and um, because of the craftsmanship you also can't like replace the stone because it's like gold like you can't just you know replace the piece of gold or else like you just be, you know, might as well pay for another bracelet, right? This guilloche in the middle is definitely, uh, I wanna say like more of a fragile item, which I don't tend to purchase, but because it's so friggin' sparkly and pretty, I cannot resist it. So I did buy it this time in Vegas as just like a New Year's or, you know, end of year celebration, celebrating life kind of piece. So um, I do really enjoy this one too. And um, the sweet Alhambra is just something I got for my birthday and I really like the meaning behind the carnelian stone it represents flesh and it represents life and courage and confidence and i just really really like the meaning behind carnelian and it's also one of the toughest stones that van cleave frequently uses the two toughest stones according to my essay the two toughest stones that van cleave likes to use are onyx and carnelian um and in between the two i definitely like carnelian more than onyx because onyx is just like the black stone and um i don't know why i'm just not not particularly into the black stone even though i do see a lot of people pull it off really well but because i also do have dark hair i don't really see myself you know doing dark on dark i want something that is more uplifting and more bright so that is why i opted for the carnelian and because it is so tough in nature you are also able to like sleep with it on you are also to be able to you know even shower with it on i also um, see this question a lot like which stones can you shower or bathe or sleep with and a lot of the stones that van cleef uses frequently for their jewelries are actually not good for you know daily wear for example the very popular mother of pearl is actually not good for daily wear because whenever you know water and soap and perfume gets to it you can actually dull the stone over time and sometimes even cause shrinkage so that's definitely something that you don't want whereas for the carnelians almost as strong as glass as some people say and so it's very like relatively safe for you to sleep with it to shower with it and so far i have not experienced any like negative effects it's still as shiny and as beautiful as day one and i also don't experience any shrinkage whereas for the guilloche um it's not really like the soap or water that will damage it but it's really with the wear and tear and how it is more prone to scratches and so i do you know wear this with more caution i don't want to just like bang my whole arm or whole wrist against something hard because it will get scratched up and especially because i do have a stack going on even when gold clashes with gold let's say the love bracelet clashes with the guilloche necklace or a guilloche bracelet it will cause some scratches inevitably because it's gold clashing with gold and so that is why i also got my bracelet tightened to like the tightest level that they can get so you can see it fits very very well on my wrist and i do have a really small wrist whereas my love bracelet is like very loose this is actually size 17 and um the reason why i got it in size 17 is because it's quite comfortable and also you know it's all the same price so might as well get more gold out of your buck right more bang out of your buck <laughs> So um, that's why I got the uh, size 17, but they actually worked out beautifully because they don't overlap each other Especially when I just like leave it alone like that. They just kind of stay in place My two Van Cleef bracelets and my love just kind of like floats around 
So that is the damage that I've done in the past couple months just with Van Cleef and of course I also went to Cartier and um, yeah I must say like during the quarantine a lot of people have realized just how unpredictable life is and even when I talked to the SAs over there a lot of them have said sales have actually boomed since the quarantine which is very strange because you might think oh it's a quarantine no one's going out um, people might not you know want to get fancy stuff because they're not going out they're not really showing to anyone but it's actually Actually, the polar opposite because a lot of people are starting to feel oh my gosh life is actually so unpredictable and you never know what comes next tomorrow or accidents and so with this unpredictable nature of life you really want to celebrate what you have so some people they might have some you know fun money laying around some people they might have a you know special someone that they want to get you know something special for and so this quarantine is really you know a good reminder for people who are not sick, of course, for them to really look after those who are close to them and also look after themselves. Self-care is also a huge theme of 2020. With so many people in quarantine, a lot of times we do feel quite, you know, alone and isolated and just, you know, not very um, connected to the rest of the world and also not very connected to ourselves and um, not really caring for ourselves that much. And to me, as strange as it is, buying pretty things for myself and just being able to wear them at home even though I have like no one else to impress it is a form of self-care to me because it allows me to you know look at you know eye candy <laughs> arm candy and um, just look at the things that bring me joy and I know this is not the same for everyone some people might be into you know fancy cars some people might be into um, let's say video games some people might be into real estate all of our passions are different all of our hobbies are different but that is totally fine there is really no like what is better what is worse some people just like good food and that is equally great but um I think it's also important for us to be more open-minded and um, to really respect each other's differences. I know luxury goods, a designer jewelry aren't something that is so like respected as a passion or as a hobby because a lot of people just like to label it as being materialistic and um, a lot of people get really judgmental when it comes to designer goods but honestly life is so short you never know what comes next what happens next and so why don't we just celebrate these little moments in life and find more reasons to treat ourselves better and to dress up even when we're at home. Dress up even if we don't have to impress anyone but ourselves. So that is my little um, Van Cleef, little but not little Van Cleef collection since honestly since September and um, this is a really really slippery slope for those of you who are looking at the Guilloche collection especially. It's a very very slippery slope. I still remember telling myself that oh I'm just gonna get the yellow gold vintage Alhambra necklace which is this one that I'm wearing right now and that's gonna be it. I'd be happy for a really long time and little did I know within the three months I not only got this one I also got my bracelet in yellow gold and I also got the holiday pendant in white gold. So it's definitely a very slippery slope. Enter with caution, enter with care and you know look after your wallet and bank account too. With that being said if you're curious how I make money, how I build wealth, I also have created several videos and you can check one of them out over here on wealth building and I will see you in my next wealth building video.